and hello we are back so this time we are taking a dive into 3d modeling um the second step is uh to look up references uh both both for aesthetic and for kind of the physical build of the game uh, as you all will see throughout this video i'm starting off by modeling the doors um i'm doing something called working modularly so what that means is that i'm gonna model each kind of like one piece and then i'm going to essentially copy and paste that over and over again when i bring this into the program that i uh like code and the program in so here we're gonna make one door and then when we jump into the program later the door is going to be copy and pasted over and over again now the reference images are going to be kind of uh, flashing on here every so often uh the vibe i'm kind of going for is more of a creepy kind of unsettling vibe i don't want this to be something with jump scares at every corner and um, just kind of like the cheesy overly grotesque kind of stuff to evoke some sort of reaction. I want this to be again closer to something like PT or Slender. Like I want you I want the player to physically feel anxiety and fear building in them as they play the game. So uh, references are going to be much more of the almost like refined horror. Um, there's uh, I haven't yet looked into reference images because I have a very clear idea of what this is going to be in my mind. But um, the haunting of Hill House is one um, very good reference. Uh, the mansion there is a very nice one. Um, so that one is going to be a pretty big reference. Um, the Overlook Hotel from The Shining, kind of like, it's a very big space, but filled with very little things. And that kind of empty feeling is kind of what I want to go for here. So the, um, you'll, you'll see kind of those references uh, going up across the street, the screen. So some of the... I guess items or the assets that will be um, modeled and put in the game. We are going to have bookshelves. We are going to have books. Uh, and for those, I'm going to model probably, I think, three different books. And then just, again, in the program that I program in, copy and paste those over and over again. There's going to be uh, I think three or four different kinds of tables. There's going to be different like papers and notes. Um, I, I don't want to dive too deep into the story here just yet, but um, there's going to be some. Uh, well, I just won't say anything because I might spoil stuff. But um, I'm uh, again. I'm hoping to fit this kind of. Um, just creepy vibe um, because we're going for a horror we don't want to go for outright scared all the time we want the player to have moments where they feel safe and then moments where they feel wildly terrified so ways to do that is really going to be more of the modeling and texturing side of it and then also going in the villain bad guy creature thing that you're going to be avoiding as well as music and tone so as we dive further and further into this and we begin looking at music to be playing around and um, textures uh, especially when we dive into textures uh, looking at UV layouts which you guys will be seeing in this video I do UV some of these items um, or the two things that you all see me model, which are a door and a door handle. So, um, 
uv when we get into texturing, we'll kind of go over what uv does and why it's important to do it correctly. Um, but for now, really kind of the, the best thing I can say right now without, uh, again, taking away from a later episode, is that when you put a texture on a mesh like this, you take an image and you wrap it around this 3D object. Think like a Minecraft skin. If you've ever seen a Minecraft skin unwrapped and in an image, it looks kind of weird. It doesn't look like the actual Minecraft character. But when you take it and you place it on your character, what happens is that image wraps itself around the character that you play as, and that creates stuff like, you know, Alistair the Invoker, my Minecraft skin is a shiny shuckle, it can do Darth Vader, etc., so on and so forth. So, when we get into edit or texturing, I'll go over a bit more of what UVing does, what it uh, what UV means and the different types of maps we'll use. For the door, we'll probably end up using a base color map. We'll use, I'm thinking a roughness map and a specular map, and then we're gonna use a normal map. And again, when we go into texturing everything, I'll explain all of those things further. However, for step two, this, this is more step 2.0, and this is going to be the modeling of the door, the door handle, and the, I, I guess kind of like the biggest, most used mechanic in the game. Um, this was going to be something that the player will constantly be using to move from room to room, as is the general function of doors. So. I figured starting with this uh, would be one, an easier model to start with. Doors and door handles are pretty easy to do. So this would be something that's kind of just easier for me to show you guys and just kind of begin uh, 3D modeling and UVing and then texturing. But later when we get into the rooms, the tables, books, chairs, um, there's going to be chess pieces. That's going to be interesting, which is going to be one model for each chess piece. So one pawn, one rook, one bishop, one knight, one king, one queen, etc., so on and so forth. So when we get into that, we'll kind of find the more complex things, and you guys will see more of more filled out UV. Um, UV um, planes. I'm completely blanking on the word there, but um, this is just going to be kind of an intro for something a bit more simple and something a bit easier. So I hope you all have enjoyed this. This is really just episode two in this um, process. I I'm excited. I really think that this is going to be a lot of fun, and I really, really, uh, I'm really excited to see where this goes. I think the game is going to be fun, at least from what I'm imagining, and I hope you guys get to learn some stuff about the like game design process. Um, this is just an intro to UVing and modeling, so if you have any questions about any of this, the Desperate Oak 48 Discord link is going to be in the description. Please, please feel free to ping me, ask me anything. I will do my best to try to explain to you about 3D modeling, a working pipeline, UVing, and again, texturing when we get there. But please, if you join, don't hesitate to ask questions. I would be more than happy to help. With that being said, I'm Destroyed48. This is the process video 2.0. This is the door that will be used from room to room. And I'm glad to see you all here. I hope you guys continue to stay safe. Please make sure you guys are doing everything you can to help slow the spread of the 
global pandemic, and I'm excited for this. And with that being said, let's make a game together.